Hello, this is Vase Project's Butterbot video 1.12. Last time we had just finished going through the design, so if we go back to our old mechanics model, what we need to do next is, after design, we go back to the dynamics and we determine the torque, that torque approximation so we can buy the motors. And uh, before we get into that, I need to tell you about how I do these videos. I usually do something, and then make a video about it. Straightforward enough, right? But that is with the pretense that the thing that I do, I redo it for the video, and those usually match up, right? I don't do something, but then do something different for the video. But that is not what happened here. I made a very big mistake in calculating the torque for the motors when I did it by myself. I went through the approximate weights of all the links, and then the weight of the uh, of the knife. That's how it is. It's the weight of the knife, the torque that causes, and the center of mass weight of the links, torque that causes, and that determines the torque at the bottom, which is the highest torque in the model, so you need to constrain for that torque, that's the motor you buy. Simple enough. Not that complicated. The least complicated dynamics I have done for this project. But, the weight of the links that I used was off by a factor of 10 than the actual weights of the links. The approximation that I used then, I improved upon for this video, so I go more in depth about it, and that gap of going more in depth about the approximation of the weight made me realize how wrong my first approximation was. Usually not that big of a deal. I can just, okay, just fix that for the project. The issue is, I had done the torque, and I had already purchased the motors. It was a good deal on the motor I was looking for. Five of the motors and the motor controllers for like $15. That's a solid deal. So I bought it. I bought the motors that I don't need for this project. They're not strong enough for the bottom. And so, God has cursed me for my hubris and I need to figure something out. That'll be more down the line. Let's, uh, let's just go through what the, actual, what the actual dynamics is. Essentially, as I said before, the two links, link two and link three, are going to be going to be, uh, the wrist link and the base link are going to be the weighted links. In the real world, not my pretend world from before, that's about 200 grams. And the center of mass is about in the middle, so that's going to be 200 grams and like 72 centimeters. I had to convert from inches from before in the design to centimeters now because most motors are going to be in centimeters. And then that, plus the torque caused by the butter knife, which is about 50 grams. And that's times the whole length of 150 centimeters approximate. That torque is a lot more than the torque that I thought it was back when I thought the links together would be 20 grams. This is the stepper motor that I bought. For those of you who know stepper motors, this is probably familiar. It's the one that everyone has the specifically 28 BYJ, I think that's 48 DC and 5 volts. Really small separate motor, really solid separate motor. It's pretty reliable. I bought five of these and then five motor controllers for these, which will make the uh, circuits easier. And that's these motor controllers here. The chip here is actually removable. I can pop it off and replace it if I need to, which is nice. These can't drive anything though. They can drive, okay, they can drive parts of it. So I, I am going to use these for some, but I'm not gonna, I can't use it for everything. This will still move the effector and it'll still move the uh, wrist link, but it can't move the whole bot like I would need it to. This is not match the constraining motor. And so I need to figure something out for that which is probably what the next video is gonna be about. But, in terms of documentation, 
The torque rating for these is 8.23 millinewtons per centimeter. Or new newtons per centimeter, that's what it is. Newtons per centimeter. Which is about fine if your links are 20 grams each. But they're not. They're a lot more than that. They're about 100 grams each. So... I have to figure something out. Hopefully this will be enough for the smaller one. De definitely be enough for the knife by itself, but enough for the smaller one too, like the middle, the middle motor. But I don't know about the rest of them. So, adding to our list of problems, our list of things to do, we need to dig ourselves out of this hole. We need to find a solution for having different motors. My, right off the top of my head, I still have that DVD player with a couple DC motors and then I'm going to take out these those DC motors. Hopefully those DC motors have motor controllers attached to them so I can just hook it up right away if I really don't know how this is going to go. So that being said, I'll see you next time, hopefully with better news. And remember, God curses you for your hubris.